In this video, we are going to talk about the parent and child relationship within Civil 3D. This is probably one of the topics that I get asked the most questions on of how this relationship works and, and why they have it. So the, the main thing with parent and child is you have the parent objects and then they, then you have the uh, child objects. So if we, if we do anything to the parent, it will affect the child. If we do anything to the child object, it's not going to affect the parent. So let me uh, demonstrate that. And the first place that it starts is under drawing utilities, drawing settings. And this is just the way that I view the parent-child relationship. There, there may be other, other ways of viewing it, but this is the way that makes sense to me. So I'm looking at the layers and there's, there's two ways I think to view the parent-child. It's under the layers and then under the styles themselves. So when I make objects, I term these the parent layer. So when I make an alignment, C-align, that would be my parent layer. It will make a parent layer C-label-align. And it's going to make a table if I make one C-table-align. So this is what I would term the parent. When I make an object, it's using the C-align. And then when we add the suffix, the dash star, that is what I would term as adding the child component to the layer. So like my previous video, I'm just going to make a quick polyline over here and turn it into alignment. And I'll just name it side road. So as we see down here, C-align is the parent, and then the side road aspect would be the child. So I'm going to hit OK, and when we click on this object, it's actually on what I would term as the child layer, C-align-side road, along with these labels, C-label-align-side road. And let me freeze this air photo so it runs a little faster. So this alignment was placed on this child layer. However, if we look at the alignment style, I've got every component just to set up to C-align. So this, even though this uh, alignment is on the child layer, it's relying on the parent layer itself. So the components are physically placed on C-align, but the object itself is on C-align-side road. Now this comes in handy when you want to free specific things. So I do have an alignment over here. Let me freeze a couple things off. As we see, there's an alignment right here. And I also have the alignment over here and I got a couple small ones through, the, through this pond. If I want to freeze some of these objects, I'll freeze the align that new alignment, the side road alignment. And as we see, the main road alignment stayed on because that is on C-align-stony trail full road. Let me turn, nope, not that one layer. Let me turn those layers back on, I just froze. And I've turned that alignment back on. Now, say I wanted to turn all of these alignments off. I'm gonna go to my layer list and I'm gonna find C-align because I know that's my parent layer. I have pond sections, side road, stony trail, full road, etc. However, if I freeze the C dash align, every alignment turns off and we're left with the labels only. And if I regen, the labels themselves stay on because they're on the C label align dash side road or the parent layer C dash label dash align. And if I wanted to freeze all the labels, I would turn that layer off as well. So the parent layer, C-label-align, because those components are on that layer. So I'm going to turn C-align back on and C-label-align back on. And we see the alignments both Turn, all the alignments turned back on along with the layers themselves. Again, that's a way of freezing every alignment at once or freezing one at a time. 
Now, just to freeze one layer, I'm using the little layer freeze button here, and it freezes that one layer in this one view. So I'm going to turn all my layers back on and demonstrate this with surfaces. Freeze the air photo back off. So I have a number of surfaces in here. So if I go to my prospector tab under surfaces, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine surfaces. A couple of them are existing, a couple of them are design. So the way I have my drawing utilities, drawing settings set up is if I make a tin surface, it's going to the, it's going to create a layer C dash surf. However, all of my styles are C dash surf dash for existing. They have EXST and that's the existing ground style. And my proposed, I have set for C dash surf dash prop. So C dash surf dash proposed, not the C dash surf. I keep that C dash surf in the automatic layering. So it makes the surface C dash surf dash whatever I name it. So if I come in here and I freeze my C dash surf surface, or source uh, layer, nothing is going to turn off because nothing is relying on that as a parent. Where it does rely on it, and I'm going to use my layer manager instead of the drop down here. So if I turn off, scroll down to C-Surf. So I've got that one frozen, nothing's happened. If I freeze C-Surf test existing, this turns off all my existing ground surfaces even though these two are still turned on because again, this is the parent. If I wanna leave my existing ground surfaces on and yet freeze my proposed, I'm gonna freeze C-Surf-Prop and that will get rid of all my proposed surfaces and leave the existing ground ones on. So that is how I view the parent-child relationship. And again, it's the way, the way I've set up my template is the alignments function the same way, the surfaces function the same way, corridors, assemblies, etc. So everything relies on that parent-child relationship. Now, if we want to take that a step further, under your settings tab, your labels can have a parent-child relationship. So under uh, surfaces, Actually, let's do it under alignments. We'll go label styles. I'm just gonna do my super elevation labels. And as we see here, I got two label sets. I got a super elevation critical point two and a two and a half. Now these would be parent labels. If I right click on super elevation critical points and go new, when I make a new label style, it will create a parent label style. If I wanted to make a child style, so we can have child label styles, I would select the one I wanted to create a child of. So we'll say super elevation critical points. And I would select new on that. And as we see in this window that pops up, we have super elevation critical points, two millimeter child. Now, the parent labels give you all the options to be able to change things. When we come into the child styles, we see some of these options are grayed out. And if we go under the line components, more of these options are grayed out. So these would rely on what's in the parent. However, we can make a child style if we want to view just one piece or make the text a little bit different size. So we could go three millimeter child and under the layout, if I go back to geometry points, I could go three millimeter if we wanted to view just say one label as a three millimeter label. And as you see here, this would be our parent and it, bracket, it goes down to the child that's right down below it. So again, the, the parent-child relationship and some of the stuff we do to the parent. So if we come in here, and we modify some of these li line options or we'll go under general and we'll name this, I'm not gonna save this drawing, but say we'll name this parent, I'll hit okay. In theory, that should replicate down into this style 
and name this component parent. So again, the parent-child relationship is probably one of the more confusing parts of Civil 3D because, hey, I froze c-surf-prop, but all my surfaces are gone. Where did they go? It's That's where I come in and use the layer freeze button instead of freezing the, the uh, parent layer itself. So any of these c-align, c-appur, c-core, if you want to freeze everything in your drawing really quickly, there's about 10, 10 or 12 layers, the parent layers, it will freeze everything. However, you're not going to see everything else because it's going to freeze absolutely everything. So freeze the child, freeze the child layer instead of the parent layer. And again, this is just the way that I view the parent-child relationship. There, there could be other options, there could be more, but I, I hope that explains the parent-child relationship a little bit.